Hello and Ooga Booga Barras, it's F-Dub here with the Honey Jar, and today we've got another new quest. This one is brought to you by Curvance. First things first, we're gonna head over to the Cub Quest page. And of course, if you're here, definitely want to claim any outstanding faucets you might have. And reminder, don't forget to claim any of your free badges. If you're not using Cub Quest, no problem. Today, we're gonna show you how to navigate the Curvance app. Follow along, strap in for the ride, and if you're on a cup quest, you have a very special kind of mental illness. So big shout out to you. Anyway, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get into the quest section. Next, we're gonna hit view quest. And now we're gonna scroll all the way down until we see the quest that we want, which is Curvance on Bear Chain. This will allow you to grab a badge. So let's get right into it. After clicking the quest, we'll be taken to the page right here. And what we're gonna do here is first log into Twitter. If you haven't done so, do that. For the next step of the quest, simply authorize the app. And from here, you'll be brought to the quest page. If you've been successful, which I hope you have, my dear Barra, you'll get a little confirmation this quest is done on the first step. Next, you need to follow Curvants on Twitter. So give them a follow by just clicking follow, then hit follow on Twitter. And for those who are not familiar, Curvants is a modular protocol for optimized liquidity management. It does have the CVE token, which is not live yet, but it is powered by Wormhole. What do you guys think about that one? That's pretty interesting, right? So. Heading back to the quest page, we just need to verify this step. Of course, we'll get a little green tick confirming that it's completed. So next, we're going to go ahead and click the retweet button. This will bring you to a tweet once more and just hit the repost button. If you have already retweeted it, just simply undo it and repost it again. Next, we're going to head back to the quest page and hit verify. If you've done this successfully, you'll also get a green tick. All right, Barris, strap in. It's time to do some on-chain steps. So this is where you can follow along if you're not using the Cub Quest page. But if you are using it though, hit the visit button to begin step four. Remember, you're leaving Cub Quest, so you'll need to do your own due diligence for security and privacy of the site. Be smart, Barras. That said, when you're happy, hit continue. And if you're following this tutorial not through Cub Quest, simply go to app.curvance.com. And from here, you'll be able to interact. Okay guys, so there is a bunch of steps to do, so let's go through this one. It's gonna be a little bit of a longer tutorial. We're gonna be covering everything under the sun to cover for BearChain Testnet for Curvance. The first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and connect our wallet using the connect button. Simply hit connect, select the wallet which applies to you, select account, and then hit the confirm button on MetaMask to connect. And of course, I know Bears can't read very well, but definitely give the terms and conditions are read. Once done, hit the confirm button. When you're happy and you've read the tutorial component, simply hit next after everything you've read. Once you do that, you'll get to this page right here. Now you're ready to start the on-chain steps. The easiest way to do this, in our opinion, is to go to the notification button at the top right. From here, you'll be able to view all of the bear chain tasks which need to be completed. There is a total of nine tasks and we'll go through all of them one at a time. If you're following this tutorial just to get a feel of Curvants, this is a really good way to do it. The first thing we're gonna do is mint testnet tokens. So simply click on this option. I would recommend claiming all, but you can do each one individually if you prefer. Once you're happy, select all or the faucet that you'd like to claim, hit confirm when you're prompted on MetaMask, and then just wait for the transaction to go through and you'll successfully have claimed all the assets that you see on my screen here. This isn't real money bears, this is just a testnet. Once your transaction goes through, you'll get a quick signature request prompt. Simply hit confirm, and then you would have successfully claimed the faucet. Simply click off of this and go back to the notification bar. You'll need to refresh the page to get a little green tick, but you can just move straight on to the next steps. What we're gonna do now is deposit assets next. So simply hit deposit assets, and you'll be brought to the markets page. You can also do this by visiting the markets tab right here. So from this page, what we're gonna do here is long Bitcoin. So simply hit the deposit button that you see on the screen here. You should have one wrapped BTC from the faucet here. Select however much you'd like to deposit, hit approve, approve the transaction in your MetaMask wallet, and then there'll be another transaction to prompt and confirm afterwards. What we have automatically selected is a collateral deposit, and you'll get a prompt confirming that you've approved your token spend. This is when you can hit continue and now deposit your wrapped BTC you'll get a confirmation that the transaction's been submitted. Now what you're gonna do is close this box, and before you can withdraw, you'll just need to wait 20 minutes. Take a note of this, as this is a step we'll be coming back to at the very end. Now, if you open up your notification box, not only have we deposited assets, but these are also collateralized, meaning we've done steps two and three. Next, we're gonna borrow assets. So for step four, 
simply click the box again. This will actually take you back to the same page you're already on, which is the long BTC market. Here, we're just gonna go to the borrow tab. And now we're gonna select how many USDC we're going to borrow. When you're happy with the amount, hit continue, and then hit the borrow button that appears on the prompt from here. As always, just confirm a transaction in MetaMask, and when you get the transaction submitted prompt, simply close it. And of course, if you want to close your borrow, or in other words, repay, you'll have to wait 20 minutes. So we're gonna do that at the end as well. Now, moving on to the next steps, as we just mentioned, we cannot repay yet. So what we're gonna do now is move on to step six, which is to lend assets. Clicking this will also be brought up once again to the long BTC market. But what we're gonna do is hit the lend button this time. How many USDC do we wanna lend? Now, what I'm gonna do is lend 5,000 myself. And when you're doing this, dear cubs, select the amount that's appropriate for you. Hit the approve button, and then you're approved for spending cap in MetaMask. Once done, there'll be a second transaction you need to complete. Now, if for some reason the first tab takes a little while to complete, and you need to leave the lend tab, just reopen it and then enter the same amount of USDC you originally did. And now you can proceed with step two. We're gonna hit continue and now hit lend and approve the transaction prompt that appears in MetaMask. All right, once you get the prompt confirming the transaction is done, close it on the page if you open up the notification bar again. We've now done step six and then gonna continue using the CVE token, which we received from the faucet earlier in the video. So we're gonna click lock CVE. This is step number six. This is gonna actually bring you to a different page, which is the lock page on the left hand tab. Scroll down and from here, you can see how many CVE to lock. Our balance is 10. So select whichever amount is appropriate for you. Over here, you see the options for continuous or 12 months. We recommend doing 12 months for the purpose of this tutorial. So hit approve when you're happy, of course, and you'll prove the spending cap and just approve this in your wallet and wait for the transactions to go through. So just approve this in your wallet and then once that goes through, there'll be a second transaction you'll need to do when this is ready. The lock token tab will appear, hit lock token, and then approve your transaction in MetaMask again. I know this is a lot of steps, but don't worry Cubs, we're almost there. So you'll get a successful transaction once the confirmation goes through, and now we're ready to move on to unlocking CVE. So click unlock, and this will take you to the exact same page that we're already on. In order to unlock, simply scroll down to where it says your locks, and go to manage where you have your amount. Hit manage button, and then from here, scroll down to where it says early unlock and hit the unlock button. You'll get a warning about the fact that you have a penalty to pay and you're gonna lose some of the tokens here, but thank goodness they're fake. When you're happy, hit confirm, approve the prompt in your MetaMask, and once this goes through, you'll have unlocked CVE tokens that you just locked up. You'll get a confirmation saying success when this is done. You can close that now and move on to the next steps. So what we're gonna do here now is withdraw and also repay our assets. And if you click withdraw on step nine, you'll remember we do have a timer. So we need to wait for a little bit of a cooldown before we can do these two steps. You're gonna have to probably wait anywhere between you know, 10 to 15 minutes. So do what you gotta do. You know, maybe go make a meme on Bear Flip. Maybe you can go shoot something on CT on Twitter. Maybe you can just uh, stare into the abyss and contemplate life. Whatever you gotta do, do it up and come back. All right, cool down is done. We've taken our mental chill break. And first things first, we'd recommend refreshing the app page. What did you do during your break? I mean, for me, I discovered something incredible the identity of the infamous janitor. He is, in fact, Satoshi Nakamoto. Nothing gets past TBC. Let's just move on with the tutorial. So you should have refreshed the page and you can click the notification bar here and check through the steps that we've done. As displayed here, you can see that just withdraw and repay is needed. So click withdraw and you should be on that page already. Scroll down on the long BTC market and go to the withdraw button at the bottom of the deposits tab and select how many of your wrapped BTC you wish to withdraw. I'm just gonna go with 100%. Actually, you know what, let's change it. Let's go 25%. When you're happy with that amount, hit continue and now hit the withdraw button. And now you'll need to approve the transaction that appears in your MetaMask wallet. This is just one transaction to withdraw. So once that goes through, that should be all done. Once you get the confirmation, just close the tab. And now what we're gonna do is go ahead to the notification tab. One more thing we have to do here is repay. That's step five. So click it. And when you're ready, you should be able to repay. But if not, just wait for that timer to decrease. And then when you're ready, 
simply hit the repay button, select how much USDC you wish to repay, and again, in my case, I'm gonna go ahead and repay 10,000 USDC. Go through the spending cap, hit approve in your MetaMask, and just hit next and approve in MetaMask. This will be a two-step transaction, and just go ahead and do the second transaction when the option appears on your screen. As you can see, we've got continue as a prompt now. So now we can go ahead and click it and hit the repay button and then approve the transaction that appears in our MetaMask wallet. Sweet. We've got the confirmation, so now we can go ahead and close that prompt. Just refresh the page and check your notifications bar. Just refresh the page, check your notifications bar, and you should see that you've completed every single step. But wait, there's more. We're actually not done yet, Bears. You may have been psyops here by TBC. What we're gonna go ahead here and do is the final piece of the puzzle to complete our quest over at Cup Quests. And that last step is to give feedback to Curvance. So what we're gonna do here is hit the feedback button and from here, you'll have a bunch of bear chain tasks to give feedback for. You can go ahead and score these questions how you would like. And you can also add some text here as well if you wanna add any additional feedback. So we'll leave that for you to do. But when you're happy, simply hit the button and give a score of how likely you'll be to use Curvance to manage your assets. Is it a five? Is it a one? That's up to you. But when you're done and happy, hit next. Select your multiple choice questions. There'll be things like, is this a good experience, a bad experience, hopefully good. And then when it's all happy and it all works for you, hit send. Now you can scroll back to cup quests, go ahead and verify step number four. You'll get a little green tick if you've successfully done all of the tasks. All right, Cubs, that's it for today's tutorial. That might have been the longest one we've done so far. I hope this was helpful and good for people both interacting on, on Curvants in general and as well if you're following through Cub Quests. With that being said, stay based, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one, Cubs. Take care.